one of the things that, you know, that we're doing here is typical emergent wetlands in Texas have a lot of macro depressions, a lot of shallow ponded areas, temporary ponded areas, and we have put in hundreds and hundreds of those macro depressions here. And what's going to happen, and we're seeing it already this year, is we're dramatically increasing the habitat for amphibians. And as a subset of that, we're, we're increasing the food source for those species of birds and mammals and reptiles that eat the amphibians. And we're seeing it this week as we've been going around, the abundance of snakes, the abundance of herons and egrets that are out there feeding on the frogs that are so abundant. The amphibians require as part of their life cycle that they, they have to have water to lay their eggs and then the larvae morph and then they'll spend the rest of their life as terrestrial adults on land. But they have to have the water to breed in and um, they need to have a fish free environment. The fish eat the eggs, they eat the larval salamanders or the larval frogs. So um, we get an opportunity to provide some of that habitat. This is the natural wetland that's formed here over the, as long as this site has been uh, seeping. All of this vegetation is natural that's come in over time. We'll be, we're planting and seeding these, but over time, they're gonna be vegetated just like these here. This has all, all, everything that the birds are looking for. It's got all the little macroinvertebrates, the little snails, the little worms. There's even some mosquito fish in here. It's got larvae of dragonfly. Look, at there's, there's at least three or four different dragonfly species flying around here. All kinds of food for the birds and lots of nesting habitat around them. The, the habitats we're building are basically habitats that would have been here before at some point in time. So we likely will not see a large increase in bird diversity, but the, the increase in bird numbers is just staggering. It's absolutely phenomenal. This is going to be a, an amazing birding destination when this all matures.